As international medical graduates, we have several options, one of which is pursuing a master's degree. A master's degree is an advanced academic credential that you can get by universities that involve more in deep study in a specific field or area. Common requirements for most master's programs include bachelor degree, official transcripts, letter of recommendation, personal statement, resume slash CV, academic statement, GRE, and official English language proficiency test score. These requirements might be different depending on the university to which you are applying. Common master's degrees include master in epidemiology, health management, health promotion, public health, global health, infection disease and microbiology, mental health, clinical research, and nutrition. Also, there is something that is called program finders. Program finders are like online platforms that you can get into and see and filter all the programs that you want to apply. For example, I like the one which is not a sponsor, which is called Association of School and Programs of Public Health. In this program finder platform, you can see all the masters related to public health and you can filter by university, by master that you're looking for, and so on. Do a master's degree help international medical graduates match into medical resident? That is a complex question. But to be honest, a master's degree is not a must and it's not mandatory to get a medical resident. And based on the official website of the National Resident Matching Program, um, most of the INGs don't have a master's degree and they match. So based on the data, a really huge amount of INGs, the majority of the INGs, don't have a master's degree and they match. So a master program is not something that is equal to getting to medical resident. But to be honest, it's something that is a highlight, that is a plus, and depends on what you do with your master can help you out, but you don't have you don't have to, you know, to get a master in order to to get into a medical um resident. For example, I have a friend and he had a master in clinical research. When he finished medical school, he was like, I want to I wanna do networking in the United States. I want to, in a sort of way, get into the, the U.S. system, but I don't know. I don't know how. And he was like, you know what? I want to do a clinical research. I like research. And I don't have that many experience. I have the money because that is something you have to take in consideration. A master's degree takes time and takes money. So he was like, I haven't taken any USMLE. He got in a scholarship uh, and he moved to the United States as a master's student. During this time, he was studying for the USMLE and that helped him to the gap to the gap years. If you don't know, gap years means a or it's not it's not just years, cause you can you can have you can have a couple of months of gaps. So gap in general means that a period of time or a timeline that you don't do anything related to the medical field. And and he was like, you know, I don't have I don't have any USMLE and that is gonna take me years. Because my base is zero, and I know that it's going to take time. So he got into the master program. And during this time, he was studying for his USMLE. If I'm not mistaken, he took a step one. And, and then between the transition of almost graduate from his master program, um, he took a step two. So during this time, he was taking the USMLE and a study for. So in that case, the master helped him with 
compensation in a sort of way, gap years, you know, and also since he was doing clinical research, he got the opportunity of getting to different hospital in the research department and networking and know people and because he was doing research um, related to cardiology and neurology. I think the first year was based on cardiology and the second year neurology stuff, something like that. I think it was kind of a combination, if I'm not mistaken, but it was more cardiology and elective of neurology. So he was doing research in a hospital in the United States, and he was knowing people. He was reinforced the the um the networking he was meet he had meeting with faculty and doctors in the United States. Also during this time he he applied and he got into observership and during his master's vacation he was doing observership and externship during this period. And also, since he was doing a clinical research um, master, he do research. Also, he, he do publications, also conference presentations. And it was hard because it, was it, was, it, was it wasn't only he was doing a master. With the master, he was doing... A study for the SMLE, so compensation gap years. Also, he was doing during vacation, he was sacrificed um, his vacation and he was doing uh, observership, um, externship. So he didn't, he didn't do any clerkship because remember, as an international medical graduate, he was already graduate, so he couldn't apply for clerkship. But he applied and he got into observatorships for a couple of weeks, also externships for a couple of weeks, because externship is like a combination of chattering, which is an observership, and hands-on. So he was doing that during his master. Also, since, as I said again, it was a, a clinical research, he got publications, um, research experience, and also... Um, presentations in conference. So he was doing a master, but it, he during his master was getting ready and was preparing for the MASH application. So that was the pathway that he chose. So, okay, I'm going to use this master and maximize this master in different areas of my app of my future era's application and enhance my possibility of matching. That was a decision that he made. It wasn't like, oh, um, my this master it was equal to um to get into medical to get into medical resident, but what he did during his, during his period in in his master was leading him to get into medical, I mean, medical, no medical school, into um, medical resident. And now he's applying for this cycle and he feels really confident um, about it. And it's what I'm saying. Uh, it's not about the master. It's about what you do with this opportunity. And I'm talking about also he do, he did volunteer also he did volunteer he was like doing a master and doing all that stuff it was really hard sometimes I I having a spot with him for for months because he was really busy and you know he was really busy he was so focused on his goal and during this time because his master took like. Two years and a half. So it was two years, and he it, and between his master, he took a gap because he wanna he got an opportunity. So his master was like two years and something. So that's something you have to keep in mind. So for a master, you need time. So if you're already are ready for apply for medical resident or you are really advanced, doing a master is gonna take longer. It's gonna taking a longer pathway, cause. 
you're almost ready for applying and a master means a two years that is going to be black and you can and the only thing that you can do is your master and yada yada but you can apply to medical resident because if you apply to medical resident you have to finish your master doing medical resident which is possible i know people that they are doing master's degree and medical um and medical resident but you know you have to be really busy and it's something that is possible but you know it's not that easy so if you compromise that you're going to do a master especially is if it's through a scholarship your master is the number one because it's in a scholarship and you know it's not that easy so i just talking about my my friend's experience is what he did so just to sum up having a master it doesn't mean you get into medical school I mean, medical, I don't know why I'm, I'm keeping saying medical school. I mean, medical resident, but it's a good opportunity that you can utilize for your future. Also, this is also a alternative, an, an alternative pathway. So forget about it or never mind about a medical resident. Also have a, I, I know people, no friends, but I know people that they say, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to do medical resident. I like epidemiology i like public health i like clinical research i like this and that and there are pathways that i can do that and and i don't have to do medical resident i follow someone and she like epidemiology i think there is a resident for epidemiology but also there is a, another pathway that is not that hard that is master's degree So it means you don't, she doesn't do, she doesn't need to do medical resident because she doesn't want to do medical resident. So he applied for a master, which is, is a highly demanding, but it's not that hard as a, you know, medical resident. And I know people that like different areas of medicine that they can do it through a, a master's degree. And... And through this master's degree, this is an alternative pathway. That's another thing. So I was talking about medical resident, but never mind medical resident. There are a bunch of master's degree that you can do and you can live with. And there are a bunch of areas that you can explore your capacity and do it. And you don't have to take the USMLE. You don't have to go to medical resident. I, I know people that they are working as a clinical research epidemiology in the in the public health system and they haven't done anything related to USMLE. They are doctors, they are medical doctors in their country and they moved to the United States and they said, you know what, I don't want to do medical resident and I like clinical research and what they do what they are doing for a living is clinical research and they are happy and they feel really good with the decision that they made so that is a possibility if you don't want to do medical resident you can do a master in, in in an area that you like and you enjoy and do this for a living and don't do um the USMLE and yada yada in medical resident so i just want to let you know that you have choices And a master is one of them. Sure, you need time. Sure, depends on you have to pay for or, or apply for a loan or apply for a scholarship. But um, this is a reality. A master is a choice that you can pick it up. It's up to you. It's based on what you like. What are you looking for? What, what are you looking for? what make you happy it's a personal decision and if you want to like get something from this video it's like you have choices and you are the one that made that choices and it's something make you happy and you think a master is what is going to make you happy and something that you want to do it just do it because it's a it's a reality you can't do a master's degree in areas that you like and live with that